So accelerated computing is first understanding what are the domains, what are the applications that matter to you, and to understand the algorithms and the computing systems and the architecture necessary to accelerate that application. And so it turns out that general purpose computing is a sensible idea. Accelerating an application is a sensible idea. So let me give you an example. There's a, uh, you have DVD decoders. You play DVDs or uh, H.264 decoders on your phone. It's, it does one job and one job only, and it does it incredibly well. Nobody knows how to do it better. Accelerated computing is kind of a, this weird middle. There are many, many applications that you can accelerate. So for example, we can accelerate all kinds of image, image processing stuff, particle physics stuff. We can accelerate all kinds of things that includes linear algebra. We can accelerate, you know, we can accelerate many, many domains of, of applications. That's a hard problem. Accelerating one thing is easy. Generally running everything on, under a C compiler is easy. Accelerating enough domains such that if you accelerate too many domains, suppose you accelerate every domain, then you're back to a general purpose processor, right? What makes them so dumb that they can't build just a faster chip? And so on the one hand, on the other hand, if, you're, if you only accelerate one application, then the market size is not big enough to fund your R&D. And so we had to find that slippery middle. And that, that is the strategic journey of our company. This is, this is where strategy meets reality, and that's the part that NVIDIA got right, that nobody, no other company in the history of computing ever got right, to find a way to have a sufficiently large domain of applications that we can accelerate that is still 100 times, 500 times faster than the CPU, and such that the economics, the flywheel, the flywheel of number of domains, expanding the number of customers, expanding the number of markets, expanding the, the sales, which creates larger R&D, which allows us to create even more amazing things, which allows us to stay well ahead of the CPU. Does that make sense? That flywheel is insanely hard to create. 